there are some things we can do and they're baked into the system right here in the United States because we have a beautiful system founded on the right ideals. We really do. We've got things like the Constitution and the Bill of Rights and the Declaration of Independence and the Federalist Papers, all of these documents written by people who were far better than any of the people in our public sphere today with, with maybe a couple exceptions. And they gave us this. They gave us this blessing of freedom and we can restore it. We really can restore it, but we're gonna have to put in the work. Uh, Jordan Peterson was on Russell Brand's podcast a couple days ago and they were talking about this idea between individual rights, authoritarian governments, and why governments. When Fauci earlier, he doesn't know why China would do something like this. But there is a reason, and Jordan explains it quite well. Generally speaking, center-left liberal democracies are using this stuff nefariously. I don't think they care about the feelings of trans people. I don't think they care. I yeah, care. I don't think so either. I care. I care, and I care about I think, white working class people, yeah. black working class people, brown people from across the all class spectra. And what I feel like is that in order to not engulf ourselves in a sort of a semantic pyre, we all refocus our attention on the real giants, the oligarchs, the tyrants, whether they're bureaucratic or personal, that are using, that are narcissistically hoovering up the power while we're fucking around with like language. Well, this is also, this is also partly the dangerous of el the danger of elevating compassion to the ultimate virtue because you will, you also enable the narcissists of compassion to garner power to themselves by claiming a compassion they don't have. If you destabilize the identity of local individuals so they're confused and aimless, it's a hell of a lot easier to hoover up all the power. You need slaves to be a tyrant. And maybe I'm more concerned about individuals on the slave level and you're more concerned with delineating the nature of the tyranny and that's perfectly fine. But I think they're the same problem. Do you see what we did here on the Rubin Report program today? Do you see how we tied this thing together? We started about a half hour ago talking about Justin Trudeau and the trans people, or the, the drag people. I assume well, probably one or two of them are trans as well. But he comes in there, Justin Trudeau, who locked these people down, who ruined Canada's economy, who shredded their founding documents. But he comes in and he sounds nice, then he's shimmying in and all those things. And then they look at him, despite everything he did to them, and he's, oh my God, he loves us. He loves us. He just loves us so much. And then they become atomized. They're not even real individuals anymore. They're just, oh, you're the trans people. You're the drag people. You behave like this. This is how you should behave. And you will not be an individual. So I want to now read you Jordan's quote right there that he just said at the end. And you'll see how this thing all got linked together to why Fauci doesn't know why they would have lockdowns and all the rest of it. This is Jordan's quote. If you destabilize the identity of local individuals so they're confused and aimless, it's a hell of a lot easier to hoover up all the power. You need slaves to be a tyrant. So do you see why they would want you constantly focused on gender and sexuality and race and all of these things that actually don't matter that much, but they make you feel like those are the most important things about you. And once you think that your gender and your sexuality are the most important things and your skin color, the real piece of you, the piece of you that is the thinking you that is within this skin with the gender and the genitals and all the stuff, that part will be completely gone. And then they will be able to lock you down like they're doing in China and with a zero COVID policy. And then our nonsensical bureaucrats like Anthony Fauci, who deserve no power over anybody and can't figure out why China would do a thing like that. Well, if you, if you had a belief in yourself, if you had a belief in autonomy and individuality, you would not be giving power over to them.